This is the Home Health Success Academy formula. So I want you guys to go ahead and look at a triangle. And these five parts of your formulas is very important because in the end, the most important thing is to be able to get the word out. But before you go to the bottom part, which is the presenting part, the most important part on how to deliver your question, deliver your product, you need to first start with the basics and know what you're supposed to present to people. Okay, so on the Home Health Success Academy formula, we're going to be starting with perspective and clarity. You must have a clear perspective of who you work with and who you can work with. Remember, find out what specialties you want to work with. What are your experiences as a person? If you're limited with your experience, can you bring other people to work with you guys? What do you guys have to offer out there? What are the problems that you guys can solve? Remember, in the beginning, I told you guys, we are problem solvers, not just services. We solve problems. Business is about helping people and solving their problems. Number two, your personal branding. Sometimes it's about visibility and companies like this at times. Okay, you must create that brand to be seen by the right people. And remember, we talked about the seven musts of marketing. So this is where your branding goes. Look, most of the large companies were not known until they broke through obscurity by solving the problems of those people. And sometimes they may not even know that they have problems, so you have to raise the problems for them and make them realize that they're experiencing a problem that they're using their own home health agency, that they need home health services, that they need to be referring their patients to you to reduce the hospitalization rates. So raise your profile and become successful. The third part of the Home Health Success Academy formula is packaging your company. So in the seven musts of marketing, we talked about what? Advertising. We talked about direct mailing. We talked about making sure that you actually have the right brochures and you have the right promotional pieces. So where are your referral sources? You need to find out where you need to be able to package your company, put together that advertising to target them. Where are your patients? Same exact thing. What are the counties that you're serving? What parts of those counties actually have a larger amount of seniors that are living there? What type of revenues do you have? Meaning. What type of payments do you receive? If you're a medical home health agency, do you just receive Medicare patients? You should not make sh you should not just accept just Medicare patients. Are you accepting private insurances, managed care? Are you accepting Medicaid? Are you accepting veteran services? What other forms of income can you actually accept? Can you you know accept private pay patients as well? You want to be able to find out not just who your service, but what you can actually accept by making sure you get paid as well. And also, is everything coming from one source? When you package your company, are you getting mostly all your patients from Medicare? Or are you just getting your patients directly from just one area, one referral source? You don't want to have just one flow of income of referrals, okay? You want multiple flows to increase the chance of your success because if you only take from one area and that area closes down or you lose that, well then you're going to have some problems. So you always want to open up your doors, open the floodgates as they may say. Number four, positioning. Creating the right partnership and the networking is very important. Okay, so as you guys can see, we repeat things in different wordings in different ways. And because this is a way for us to literally increase the chance of it getting to you right away to be able to see that it is important, that this is a must for you guys. Okay, so when you do your positioning, where do you market yourself? Where do you attend networking events? Are you an industry expert? So we talk about public speaking early on today, speaking engagements, lunch and learns. Okay, you need to help people grow by you positioning yourself and helping yourself get positioned as the industry expert, as that go-to person that if a social worker has a discharge, that they will call you first to ask you a question. Can you answer all the information that they may have? And that is where you need to build it.
Number five is the pers presenting and the persuasion. How do you get people to take action? How do you sell yourself? No one makes money if you can't get any patients, right? Can you make people use your services? This may be the hardest part and also the fun part when you're able to perfect it. So we literally teach in the Home Health Success Academy body language techniques and persuasion techniques as well. And we'll dive into that later on. But more advanced courses are available in our website. And the reason for that is you need to be a good persuader. You need to be able to share with people and let them see that they should be referring to you. Sometimes it takes time to generate that trust. But what if you can actually learn how to get people to instantly trust you the moment that they meet you? One of the hardest parts is this, is that when we first meet someone that we do not know, that person falls into four categories, whether they're an enemy, we don't like them, we don't like how they look, or number two is they're a friend. We see them as somebody who's like us, that we can definitely want to be with, we definitely want to be able to work with. The third one is where we can't really tell. I don't know if I like them. I don't know if I don't like them. And this is not a good area to be in because the person's confused. I'd rather be not liked and then eventually show them enough value to be liked. And the fourth one we don't really discuss much in the business and that is a potential partner. You know, that is a potential relationship. What we want to talk about is the first three. But if we're able to increase the chances through our positioning, our body language, the way we talk, the way we able to deliver our conversation, and the knowledge that we can actually position ourselves with, then we want to be liked. Because people like people like themselves, and we need to be able to learn the techniques on proper persuasion. And it is very important for us. Okay, so once again, you want to start off with your perspective, then your personal branding, then packaging, and then positioning, and then presenting and persuasion. So let me give you guys a quick information on how we do our presentation. If you guys saw when we talked about the Home Health Success Academy formula, I would start by telling you what you're going to learn. Perspective, personal branding, packaging, positioning, presenting, and persuasion. Then you hear me talk about the products on what you need to learn. And then I went ahead and repeated it again. And as you guys can see, this is very important when you're presenting to people about your products and about your services. So just one of the quick techniques that I wanna point out to you guys. You wanna tell them what they're gonna learn. Then you wanna give them what they learn, what they have to learn, and then you repeat it again, just to brush it up and make sure it really hits the mark with them automatically.